How you going guys, it's Paul. I'm just here to share my 23andMe Ancestry DNA test with you. So first up, I'll get to my predictions. Um, I, was pre I predicted there'll be perhaps 3-4% Italian, perhaps the same with Turkish, and I would imagine, I imagine the rest of it would be mostly Greek. But I've got my predictions right here, and I'll get straight into it. So first up, I've got my iPad here, so I'll just read off it. I was 5.1% European, and within Europe, I was 53.4% Balkan. Um, and we, they've included Greece and the Balkans, and that was the highest sample size that they got out of that region. So, and I know, I obviously know that my grand, that my family's Greek and my grandparents. So, I would imagine the majority, of the, the majority at least, of that 53.4% would be Greek. Next, I had 16.6% Italian, um, and as I just said, I predicted I'll be 3-4% Italian, so that's significantly higher. Um, I, I always knew i will be a bit Italian because my mum's dad was from an island close to Italy. I'm Gefalonia for those of you that are interested. Next, I had 21.1% broadly Southern European, and that could be Greece again. Um, this is my guess anyway, that... Um, on the Greek islands, they don't have enough samples, and so they just label it as broadly um, Southern European, and that was 21.1%. Next, we have 0.1% Finnish. <laughs> it's a minute amount, like, it doesn't really mean much. It's just there because it makes, because it's part of my genetic makeup. 0.6% broadly Northwestern European. Um, and I've got 3.3% broadly European. So I got three broad results that make up roughly about 25 to 26% of my DNA. So that's pretty significant. Um, I know in the future they're gonna update, they're gonna break those broad results down even further as they get more samples from around the world. And also they can perhaps break down that 53.4% Balkan because that's kind of broad too, to name a whole geographic region as 53.4% and not what countries are that are within there. But anyway, that's Europe done. Now we're up to Middle Eastern and North African. So I was 4.2% Middle Eastern and 0.1% broadly Middle Eastern and North African. I'm guessing, um, as the theory goes, um, people from Africa moved and settled places north and it's not completely bizarre to me that it says Middle East in here because some of them would have had to have passed through the Middle East to get to areas like Greece in this particular case. So next, we have 0.3% East Asian and Native American, um, which is a really small amount. Once again, it's very minute, it doesn't mean much, but um, it's there because it's part of my makeup, obviously. Next, we have 0.4% unassigned, and and there my that's as far as my results go that's what they are i'll see if i can post a little graphic of all my percentages if i can't it's because i'm not very familiar with youtube but anyway um another feature was your relatives from around the world i had 786 fifth and sixth cousins and they'll spread around mostly around america or europe and two or three second and third cousins who remain anonymous um, and are quite close to this region. But it would be nice if they went anonymous so I could ask my family who these people are, their name that is, um, and maybe I would have learnt something about my past and who these people are. So the next thing was Neanderthal percentage. Now that was 2.4%, the average was 2.7%. So, so it, it doesn't mean much Neanderthal percentage, it's just I guess a selling point for them and if they can do it if they can do these sort of things why not you get more value out of it so at the moment they don't have trace on the website I, I don't know if they do it for Australia I know they do it for America but I read somewhere that they're up they're upgrading the whole site and they may have traits in the future for Aussies so basically I've given you my percentage results, my Neanderthal percentage, and my relatives. Um, that's pretty much the rundown of 23andMe. It costs $149 in Australia, 
but that doesn't include the postage. It's obviously different prices from around the world, but um, yeah, I highly recommend you guys get this test, especially if you're an adopted child. Um, it's it's worth money. You'll always know who you are, and they'll and you're con and they're constantly updating the percentages on your genetics. So yeah, especially if you're interested in genes like me, it's a good idea. Um, that's basically what I wanted to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed my results. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.